downtown starting to get hungry we're talking to clients uh, and uh, so we're trying to figure out where to go eat and what better place than a good burger uh, clients of ours uh, we put them in this space early or earlier or end of last year and uh, they're open up they're open for business they make great food so uh, we're gonna go in and uh, get some grub Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the revitalization of downtown Merced. There's a lot that, that's already happened and uh, there are some significant changes on the horizon. So we're gonna be digging into that today. Now, uh, I'm reading an article from the Merced Sun Star that was published uh, over the last week. And the headline is, Merced leaders seek support from businesses, owners, on plan to further revitalize downtown. And so um, this is something that's been talking, talked about for some time now. And so what's being proposed is called a Property Business Improvement District or PBID for short. So what's happening is the city is starting to talk to uh, property owners in downtown Merced to see what their opinion is. Are they for this or are they against it? In order for it to pass, the city needs a 51% approval to move forward with the project. All right, so the boundaries are gonna be G to V Street, uh, east to west, and 16th to 19th Street from south to north. And uh, the goal of the project is to spur economic development, beautification of downtown, as well as bolster public safety according to the proposal's proponents. All right, so all of this is happening. Uh, they're trying to make downtown better, is what they're saying. All right, so Frank Quintero, Merced Deputy City Manager, is quoted as saying, downtown currently falls under a business improvement area, which generates about $60,000 to $90,000 annually. Also quoted in, in the article, according to the PBID plan, the proposal is designed to meet the goals of the district to improve the appearance and safety of the PBID to increase building occupancy and lease rates and to encourage new business development and attract ancillary business and services. If designated, the PBID would be governed by a nonprofit owners association with a board of directors comprised mostly of downtown property owners. The board would be in charge of deciding annual PBID services and budgets. Financing would come from levies upon real property in the district. All right. Okay, so ballots have gone out. They're gonna be collected in the month of March and then uh, petitions are gonna come in in April. There's gonna be a final public hearing in June. So they're, what they're saying is they're working towards approval of this project by June. So right now with the way that the current system is set up, you know, the city of Merced collects property taxes, uh, revenues that come out of the downtown district. It's my understanding those all go to the city and then the city, uh, and then they go into a general fund. And so from this fund, you know, the city makes decisions about what to do, uh, you know, improvements in downtown come out of this general fund. And so the idea behind this district is rather than have those revenues go into a general fund, they're gonna go into a fund that's gonna be managed by the PBID. And so the PBID board of directors is gonna be made up of people that own businesses, that own real estate, that are in downtown Merced. So these funds go into this bucket, if you will, and then uh, people in the downtown area, they decide what to do with these funds. So, all right, so the downtown business owners, they wanna see these funds stay in downtown Merced because they benefit from improvements. You know, if, if they're deciding where and what to do with these funds, it's gonna make sense for them to spend it on, you know, increased security, beautification of downtown, uh, whatever, 
you know, whatever they decide to do with the funds, I'm sure they're going to use the funds to beautify and make downtown a better place. And so uh, this project, it's being patterned after the downtown districts in Visalia, Turlock, Modesto. So you could, you know, you could take a drive and go visit those downtown districts. They have a PBID. And so uh, they've seen a lot of positive changes and good things happen. You know, downtown Modesto, Turlock, those are going to be the closest ones. So if you want to go visit Turlock and Modesto and see what's going on there, uh, you know, that could give you an idea of what to expect coming out of Merced. And so this is something that, you know, I've had the opportunity to participate in quite a few deals in downtown Merced over the last year. I have a lot of clients that are there. You know, I have listings in downtown Merced. I uh, just closed escrow on a 10,000 square foot building uh, in downtown Merced. And there's, you know, some pretty interesting stuff that's gonna happen in that building. So I'm gonna continue to keep an eye on this and uh, report on progress. Um, you know, from a real estate standpoint, I see this as a really positive project. Whenever you can add value to real estate or an area, this will be a 40 block district. Um, you know, whenever there's a focus and an initiative that the city's behind and property owners could potentially get behind, you know, that uh, we could see some pretty powerful, um, positive improvements happen in downtown Merced. So uh, I'm definitely for this project, but uh, what do you think? Uh, do you, are you from Merced? Do you have any, any thoughts on this project? Are you for it? Are you against it? Uh, is this something that's news to you? You know, are you neutral? Do you have any questions about it? I'd love to hear from you. Or if you're outside of Merced, maybe you're in an area where you've seen a project like this get traction, get approved, or get declined. You know, I'd, I'd love to hear uh, your opinion or insight from an outsider perspective. If you want to learn more about the PBID, I've created a uh, PDF that talks about, expands a little bit more on what's happening. You know, there's some comparable sales information. Everything that closed uh, from a real estate standpoint over the last year, those comparable sales are in there. So if you wanna get that, download it, go to my website, we'll put that up for you. Uh, look for that link in the comments below. And uh, again, let me know what you think. All right guys, thanks for taking time to watch this. You guys have a great day.